What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to install 200 plus custom fonts for free on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. The process has changed a little from last year and some people have been asking about it. So I wanted to get into that. Before we get started, I wanna thank my uh, three-year-old son, Jonathan. We've got a dinosaur, the Spinosaurus, and an animal, the elephant hanging out in the video. He always gives us some stuff for the videos. We highly appreciate him on that. I also wanna remind you, if you haven't yet signed up for my newsletter, Check out my alpha link. Not only can you sign up for the newsletter, but we do free mystery boxes at every Samsung launch. You buy a phone through our affiliate link, get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand. We're just now shipping all those out. We're almost done with the S24 launch. We'll have them for the Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6. S25 will be up there for soon for next year as well. Also check out our website and as well as see the latest videos on my alpha link page. Link will be in the pinned comment and description. So if you have a Samsung phone, you may know that you can get a bunch of fonts by default by going into the display settings. And when you go into the display settings and scroll down, you'll see font size and style. Now, if you tap on font style, you've got some defaults, Samsung One, Gothic Bold, Roboto, Samsung Sans. Some of these may not be there because I might've installed some of those myself, but you can download additional fonts by tapping on this button. It's gonna take you to the Galaxy Store where you can download other fonts. Now, a lot of these are paid fonts though, You'll notice you see the price right there, $1.99, $1.79. There are a couple free ones that you can get from Samsung, Cool Jazz, Rosemary. There's a couple other popular ones, uh, Choco Cookie. There's a couple that you can download that are you know, Samsung fonts and uh, that's no problem at all. But um, if you want to get a bunch of really cool fonts for free, you can't do it directly through this method. Last year I showed a method will allow you to get tons of fonts and install them for free in a very easy way, but you can't go through the Galaxy Store. Instead, what you have to do is go to the Play Store and download this app right here, ZFont 3 Emoji and Font Changer. Now, of course, as always with my disclaimers on this channel, this is a third-party app, so you should read about it. Make sure you're comfortable installing it. I've been using it for years. I'm very comfortable installing it. Don't have any issues with the developer, you know, doing anything weird. I'm very comfortable, but that also means you should do your own research. I'm going to show you how to use it if you're interested. Now, the first thing you should do is make sure you have some updates available here. You'll actually notice that in this particular app, there's an update available when you download it. So you can see here on the 17th, there was an update available. Make sure to go ahead and install that so that you have it ready to go. I had it installed previously. So if you have this app already from last year, make sure you grab the update. He just pushed it out like two days ago and that actually fixed some of the bugs with it not working on the S24. Now, once you have it installed, you can go ahead and open the application and uh, there is a cost to remove the ads. Now this app does have a lot of ads if you don't pay to remove the ads. I support the developer because I use this app all the time. Obviously I use it for the tutorial. It's very annoying to have ads keep popping up. So I did pay for that, but be aware that if you use the free version, there are some ads there for sure. So once you go in here, You'll see all the different fonts you can choose from, color fonts, emoji fonts. I usually like to use stylish fonts. These are a bunch of more like regular fonts. And you can see there's tons of them, you know, probably even more than 200, like I said, 200 plus, but there, there's, there's so many to choose from. I don't even know how many there are. I haven't even scrolled down all the way. So pick up some that you want, go ahead and hit the download button over here. And then once you choose one, you'll actually see that you've got this option to install it. There's a little play button. So if you tap on that, here's one that I chose. This one's called a Paul right there. And you hit the apply button. It's going to give you these options. So what you're gonna do is choose One UI at the bottom, choose Samsung Sans as your base font, and then hit build. Now it's gonna go ahead and walk you through the procedure to install the font that you're interested in and applying it on your device. So the first thing you have to be aware of is that it is going to need to install a third party APK to install the font. So you will need to give it permission to do that. Like I said, that's why it's important to make sure that you read about the app, read about the developer, make sure you're comfortable. But I'm gonna walk through the steps and show you how to do them uh, if you're interested in applying a font. So install Samsung Sans, that's the first thing to do. Go ahead and hit install. Okay, the app is installed. Next, change font style to Samsung Sans. It's gonna take you in here. Here's some of the previous Samsung defaults I downloaded. Those show up as Korean, by the way. Um, this is Choco Cookie and Rosemary and some of the ones I showed you earlier. Go in here and tap on Samsung Sans. Now you're going to make sure your Samsung account is signed in. My Samsung account is signed in. 
You have to be signed into your Samsung account because again, it does use the cloud backup with the Samsung account to kind of trick it into thinking it's a default font. That's how it allows it to apply this as a system font. So once you make sure it's there, come back here. Now you're gonna go in and back up your settings only. So it tells you, only choose settings. I've already done this before. So I chose settings only from the list. Go ahead and back up now. It's gonna take a second to back up your settings. Hit done. And then go back to get back here to the Z Font 3 app. Now uninstall Samsung Sans. Uninstall the app, okay. It's been uninstalled. Now to change it, you install your desired font. Again, it's going to need to install the font. Do you want to install the desired font? Choose install. And now it says unsafe app. So it's a third party APK. It's saying that it wasn't made for this version of Android, but again, it's just a font file. I, again, I encourage you to research thing, this, but I'm going to install anyway. Change the font style to default. So now we're gonna go back here, change the font style to default. And then we're gonna restore data from settings only. So go in here and choose your latest backup. I've got a ton of different devices. Choose settings only, make sure that settings only. Restore. It's gonna take a second to do the restore here. And then once it does the restore, you should see your font change, but I've noticed on the S24 Ultra that the font doesn't always change automatically. You have to go into the you know restart and actually go through and do a restart in order to see it change fully. So to change in all the different places. So you can see though, in this case, it looks like my font actually did change. You can see here, if I go to something like, now there are some apps where it won't change fully. I talked about this last week, like Instagram will work, but like Twitter will not work. So if we go on Instagram, looks like my font did change there. You can see the different font there in the description. Now, if you need to, of course, you can just go ahead, hold down the power key and reboot your device. So if some parts of it are not applying properly, you can reboot it and then everything should be good to go. So that last step of sometimes having to do the restart, I don't really know why it, this, this does not officially say it works with Android 14 yet. And of course that's what One UI 6.1 is built on. So it is important to note that you may need to do that restart in order to get it to work fully. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. I'll drop the link below to the Z Font 3. You can see it's on my lock screen as well right there. I'll drop the link below to Z Font 3 so you can check that out uh, if you're interested in installing some of these fonts. Also to my alpha link if you want to sign up for the newsletter. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking it out. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.